The collection vials are then poured into a search dish and searched under a microscope to look for not just the egg, but the egg in a cellular complex known as the cumulus oophorus. The egg itself is a very small microscopic structure, but the cell mass that it is collected in can be seen in this dish. It's actually large enough to be seen with the naked eye. Then on higher magnification, you can see in this picture a little black dot out at the point of the large mass of white cells. That little black dot is the mare's egg or oocyte. Here under even higher magnification, the oocyte is the black sphere surrounded by a gray corona radiata, which are protective cells for the oocyte. Once the oocyte is found, then we have to wash it in rinse media, place it in a culture dish, and put it in the incubator to mature. This process, of course, requires extreme cleanliness. We have a airflow hood and sterile media, which was derived from tissue culture media from human research. The oocyte, which was flushed from the, uh, from the mare's follicle, is then placed in a solution of tissue culture media in a small dish, which is then placed in the incubator and is matured varying lengths of time depending on the maturity of the egg when it was aspirated from the follicle. This is a CO2 incubator, which as opposed to a regular air incubator, the atmosphere inside this incubator is 5% CO2 and it is maintained at a temperature of 38 degrees centigrade. Once maturation is complete, the corona radiata cells, which we saw as the big halo around the black spot, are removed by a hyaluronidase mechanically rinsing solution that ends up with what we can actually see now is an oocyte. It is matured as evidenced by a polar body, which is the little round circle on the very bottom of the gray-brown sphere in the center. The loose gray halo around the outside is the zona pellucida. The little tiny cells are what are left over from the corona radiata cells that we have denuded off of the egg.